Ever wondered what happens between pressing your PC's power button and seeing the Windows login screen? Let's take a journey inside your computer's brain. The moment you press the power button, your PC sends electricity through the motherboard, waking up a tiny chip called the BIOS or UEFI firmware. Think of it as the computer's morning alarm. It makes sure all essential parts like the CPU, RAM, and storage are ready to go. Next comes the post or power on self-test. Here, the firmware checks your hardware for issues. Is the RAM working? Is the keyboard connected? Is the graphics card alive? If something's wrong, you'll hear a series of beeps. That's your PC's way of saying, help, something's broken. Once the checks are done, the BIOS looks for a boot device, usually your hard drive or SSD. It finds the master boot record, or MBR, or the newer GPT boot data. Aha, it's not ChatGPT, it is GUID partition table, which contains the first instructions to load your operating system. Now comes the bootloader. In Windows, that's usually the Windows Boot Manager. Its job, tell the system, hey, we're loading Windows now. It points to the location of the Windows kernel on your drive. The kernel is the core of the operating system. Once loaded into RAM, it takes control from the firmware and starts initializing system drivers, file systems, and essential processes. At this point, Windows loads your user interface, explorer.exe, and suddenly that familiar desktop appears. From button press to desktop, all of this happens in just a few seconds on modern SSDs. So next time your PC boots up, remember, it's not magic, it's a perfectly choreographed dance of hardware and software working together.